Rohit, uh, if you are asked one factor that led to the emerge as the champions, what would be? And also, how was it to gift this victory to Rahul Dravid? Yeah. He, more than any, any one of us, I think he deserved uh, that trophy. Um, what he has done for Indian cricket for the past 20, 25 years, uh, I think this was the only thing that was left uh, in his cabinet. And I'm very happy uh, from all of us on behalf of the entire team that we could actually do this for him. Uh, you, you saw how proud he was and how excited he was. Uh, and really grateful uh, to the occasion uh, for this to happen as well. Um, like, you know, in a, in a game like this, uh, there are a lot of turnarounds. Uh, I actually cannot single out one or two aspects of the game, uh, but, you know, looking at where the game was uh, when four or five overs was left, uh, obviously that wicket of Klassen uh, when Ardik took that wicket. That was actually uh, um, very crucial from our point of view. And then again, uh, Miller's wicket at the, at the back end, the last over. Uh, that catch of Surya, of Hardik's bowling was again superb. But again, you can't forget um, what the batters did with the bat. Virat getting that runs, Aksar playing that part. And then eventually us finishing off. Uh, with the score that we finished, and then obviously when we started with the ball, um, Bumbra, Arshdeep were superb, uh, you know. Uh, so I don't know how much I can talk about Bumbra. Obviously, we've been seeing this with him uh, for such a long time now. Uh, whenever he has ball in hands, he tends to create magic for us every time. So yeah, I'm very lucky to have players like this in my squad, players who are playing for me and, and Team India, uh, really, really grateful and thankful as well. Rohit, uh, congratulations and you have had uh, so many uh, moments of uh, glory in your career and disappointments also, uh, 2007 and 2008 CB Series, 2013 and Australia Test Series. Of course, 2011 you could not be part of the World Cup and of course Ahmedabad. Uh, Looking back at all these things, do you consider this as the greatest moment of your career? And second, 30 of 30 balls and uh, six wickets, how could you motivate the players to we can pull it off? Yeah, this has to be the greatest time. Uh, I, I can say that because it's only because how desperately I wanted to win this. Um, so all the runs, all the uh, runs that I've scored in all these years, I think it does matter. But I'm not a big on stats and all of that. I think winning games for India, winning trophies for India, that is what I look forward to all the time. And having this now right beside me probably has to be. I don't know, honestly. I don't know if it's the greatest or what, but it is definitely one of the greatest, I, I can say that. Um, and when I have to look at look back at certain moments in the game as well, uh, you know, they were, they were really playing well. Halfway through the stage, we were very much in the game, and then the next five overs didn't go our way. Uh, Klassen and Miller actually took it on. Uh, Decock played his part as well, but... Uh, we know what they are capable with the bat. We we do understand that. But again, you know, the message was very loud and clear to everyone that until the last ball of the game is bowled, the game is not over. Uh, because that's how that's what happens in cricket, and you got to believe that. And my job as a captain is to make everyone believe that. Um, every time we had ball in hand, uh, whether we got wickets or we didn't get wickets. We wanted to uh, keep fighting, uh, keep fighting whether we are ahead in the game or whether we are behind in the game. We wanted to keep fighting because the moments like this will never come again. Uh, this is the final. So you have to give everything that you have inside your body, mind and everything. And that is what the message was to everyone that let everything out, put whatever you have in your body, mind, put it in front of us. and. Uh, 
let's see then what happens. And I thought uh, the belief that everyone had till the last ball was bold uh, was to keep fighting. Even though we were behind in the game after 15 overs when they required just 30 odd runs in 5 or 4 overs, uh, you know, the belief was still there. We wanted to fight, we wanted to fight. And then eventually we managed to cross the line. Rohit, uh, since coming to the West Indies, India's batted first in all uh, previous games coming into the final. So, was that like a templated thing or you thought the conditions deserved that? Or, or did you think scoreboard pressure mattered in the final? Or did all of this contribute to batting first here also? No, I think I, I'm, a, I'm a believer of just having runs on the board in big games. Uh, that's, that's how my mind works. It is not necessary that everyone thinks like that in the team, uh, you know, but like I have a decision to make and I made it very clear that uh, no matter how the pitch is, whatever it is, we have to try and put runs on the board and then fight it out. Uh, you have the talent in your bowling and I've seen uh, what the guys have done with the ball. So I had that confidence that whatever score we have, we can try and defend it. Uh, mm -hmm. and. Uh, that's exactly what happened as well. I know the result came in our favour, but even though if the result didn't came came uh, in our favour, I would have still completely backed the decision of batting first. Although I thought the pitch really played well, um, you know, throughout the 40 overs, the pitch was really good. Um, you know, it didn't grip as such which we really thought it would uh, after the first half, uh, with the sun beating down so hard. There's no grass on the pitch; looks a lot drier. Uh, but obviously, uh, you know, a lot of rolling water must have gone in there uh, to make it nice and hard. But yeah, that 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 was a thought, uh, uh, and we were very clear with that decision as well, that we want to put runs on the board and try and defend it later. Uh, Rohit, hi. Firstly, congratulations. I wanted to ask you about uh, Virat Kohli uh, announcing his retirement today. How do you look back uh, at his uh, journey? You've shared some of uh, the most ups and downs with him, your moments with him. Just how do you look back at all of it? Look, he's been a champion player without a doubt. Uh, and uh, we all know, you know what he has done for us. Um, and. You know, at some point, everyone has to say uh, goodbye to the game. Uh, and, you know, Virat obviously was very clear that what this is what he wanted to do. And he was very clear before the start of the tournament as well. And I'm very happy for him, uh, you know, uh, that he batted like he did in the finals. Uh, I know, you know, the quality that he has, you know, the big games and all of that. Uh, he's going to come good. And when we wanted him the most, he came out uh, and performed the way he did. Uh, so, very happy uh, looking at his career. Obviously, he's been a champion player. Uh, we know, we, we can see the stats and everything there. But, uh, yeah, uh, nice way to sign off.